Hello students, welcome to the KTHM e-learning portal. I am Pratik Shinde, working as a assistant professor in Department of Zoology, KTHM College NASA. I am dealing with the subject Applied Zoology first, class SYVSC. Today we are discussing about the syllabus of SYVSC paper second that is the Applied Zoology first. The subject code is ZO232. This is important during filling the examination form. Remember it. The semester third. This is two credit codes for the weightage of 30 lecture. We need to know why Applied Zoology should be included in our syllabus and what is Applied Zoology. Let's take a look at what is Applied Zoology. Applied Zoology is the use of existing scientific knowledge to develop more practical applications. That is, putting the scientific knowledge into practical use will lead to the growth of agribusinesses and entrepreneurs as well as the economy. There are many branches in Applied Zoology such as beekeeping, silkworm rearing, fishery, poultry, goat farming, animal husbandry, lac culture and the pearl industry. But in semester 3, we will study the subject Applied Zoology first which include two units, sericulture and pest control practice. And in semester 4, we will study subject Applied Zoology second which include two units, apiculture that is beekeeping and fishery. Then move towards the objective of sericulture and pest control practices. The first objective to understand the biology, variety of silkworm and the basic technique of silk production and harvesting of cocoon. Second objective to learn the different silkworm species and their host plant. Third objective to study type of agricultural paste and major insect paste of agricultural importance. And last objective to study paste control practices. Let us now look at our syllabus. Our syllabus is divided into two units. First unit is sericulture and the second unit is pest control practices. Let's start with this sericulture unit. Before that, let's learn what is sericulture. Sericulture is a branch of applied zoology which deals with the study of rearing and management of silkworm for the production of raw silk. In topic 1.1, we will look at the different type of silk moth such as mulberry silk moth, the tassar silk moth, eerie silk moth and muga silk moth and we study their taxonomic position. Out of these, we will study detail of mulberry silkworm. In the topic, 1.2 The external morphology and life cycle of mulberry silkworm that is Bombex mori. We need food to survive and we need food to survive the silkworm. If you want to rear silkworm, you have to study its food. The food of silkworm is mulberry leaves, in Marathi known as tuti. In topic 1.3 we will study the Mori culture. Mori culture can be defined as the process of cultivation of mulberry plant in order to obtain food of silkworm. That is the cultivation of mulberry plants. In cultivation, we will study variety of mulberry, method of cultivation such as rain feed method and irrigation method. Then the fertilizer schedule pruning method that is cutting of mulberry tree. In topic 1.4, we will learn 
how to do mulberry harvesting and harvesting methods like leaf plucking branch cutting and whole shoot cutting species selection was done food was also arranged now how to do rearing in this topic 1.5 we will learn the different type of rearing methods we will learn what is rearing in house and how to build it and we will look at different type of rearing technique and equipments in topic 1.6 we will study the preparation of cocoon for marketing after the silkworm has made a silk thread in the form of cocoon we put some processes on it in a topic 1.7 post harvesting processing of cocoon we will study different processes such as stippling sorting storage defollowing riddling cooking and reeling in a topic 1.8 we will study the biotechnological and biomedical applications of silk now we will see the unit second that is agricultural pest and their control before that we know what is pest pest is an any organism that cause harmful effect on human and human property it may be insect and other animals in topic 2.1 we will study the different type of pest such as agricultural pest store grain pest and veterinary pest those animal or insect harmful effect on agricultural crop they include under the agricultural pest those animal or insect harmful effect on store grain then they include under the store grain pest those animal and insect harmful effect on veterinary animal those include veterinary pest in topic 2.2 we will study a different type of agriculture pest such as jowar stem borer red cotton bug brinjal fruit borer mango stem borer blister beetle this is five agriculture pest rice weevil pulse beetle these are two store grain pest and last is tick is an veterinary pest in addition to insect there are other animal that harm agriculture which reduce the agricultural yield in topic 2.3 we will study the non insect pest such as rat crabs snail and squirrel we understand what is the pest but we will see how to control it pest control is important to increase crop productivity with quality of food and food product in topic 2.4 we will study a different method for pest control such as the cultural control physical control mechanical control and the chemical control and biological control the cultural control are simple agricultural practice like tillage seed selection crop rotation etc and in mechanical control such as hand picking burning trapping and barriers in chemical control use of chemical to kill the pest and in the biological control use of biological agent like plant extract and predators for control pest besides them some other important methods like pheromone control autocidal control and the concept of ipm we will study in this unit the farmer uses some equipment to control the pest this equipment we will study in a topic 2.5 such as shoulder type of roti duster knapsack steer and cyanogen pump
summary of syllabus. We will discuss about two units, sericulture unit and agriculture paste and their control. In the sericulture unit, we will study the introduction to sericulture, mulberry cultivation and harvesting, silkworm rearing and silk harvesting. In a unit second, agricultural paste and their control includes the introduction to agricultural paste, major agricultural insect paste, non-insect paste, paste control practices and the plant protection appliances. This is a short summary of our syllabus. Thank you.